Hi Chuck, today we'll be teaching you how to move all of your Aperture library over to Lightroom. This is a great website here, moving from Aperture to Lightroom. Um, goes through all the major important things. Uh, first of all, take a look at that. I'll have a link in the show notes right here. And uh, we'll be starting with a backup first. So let's make sure that you've done a backup. Um, my backups, I use Time Machine. And you can see that I've uh, just done a backup off to my RAID, my external hard drive RAID. I also have, those are two hard drives that are off uh, connected together in a RAID. I also back up all my pictures off the Smug Mug so they have them externally. Now those aren't raw, but they are the full resolution JPEGs of, of my RAWs. So I have those externally. The next thing, the next thing you need to worry about is the next step is prepare, preparation and aperture and uh, relocating all of your originals. So make sure that you understand where your pictures are in Aperture and make sure you understand where they're going to be in Lightroom. I have my article talks about that. You can take a look at this blog link. As you're considering moving the pictures in Aperture, you need to make sure you understand where they were and where they're going to go to. I have here a file structure in my pictures folder where I have all my files organized by month and by year. It's the same structure I use inside of Aperture. And it just happens to be the same structure that's going to have that's going to be inside of Lightroom when I'm done. So I'm moving all of these files from inside of the Aperture application to a folder outside of the applica ap Aperture application uh, onto my hard drive. And they are going to where they're going to need to be for Lightroom. And that you saw that function there was relocate originals. And you know, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm moving those originals from inside Aperture to a folder. Okay, um, so you can see that make sure that you understand how your adjustments, keywords, and other metadata is going to be moved. Um, one thing you, that you can do to help is get some of that metadata over, including keywords and all that, is to write that IPTC to the master. And it tells you how to do that. Just follow its directions explicitly, and it'll work. I tried it comes up with this, pops up with this warning sign here, and um, go ahead and read it, and then hit write. It'll write all of those, all that rating information. You can see I have, um, some are rated as one, some are rated as zero, and there's also keyword information in there. Okay, the next step is a big one. You're gonna be adding all those pictures to Lightroom. Pretty simple, just make sure you use the add feature for imports in Lightroom. Okay, you can see here that on that right IPTC metadata to originals, all of the movies, the metadata did not go over. So all that really means to me is I'm gonna lose my rating structure for my movies. I'm in the library module. There's import at the bottom. You can also import um, using shift command i or from the drop down menu we're going to be import importing from those folders that i showed you a second ago um, they're under train media under pictures And I organize them, organize those pictures by month. So I'm going to go to October. There are all the pictures. Previews are loading. Just make sure that you have the add feature. And it's going to, it's going from the, those folders, that folder. It's adding to my catalog.
So that what that means is because you've chosen add, it's not moving the files. It's just going to add to the catalog. It's not actually going to move the pictures at all. This is useful when you already have the pictures on your computer. You just they're already on the hard drive or wherever you want them to be for your for Lightroom to handle them, but you just need the catalog to recognize them. So you can see here they're being added. They're going to my hard drive, or they were already on my hard drive. And I can pick those, open up those pictures by going to the folder that they are. You can see that it has the information for the lens, the ISO, all the information that was captured when the picture was taken, the time that it was captured. You can see that the rating information came over. You can see that the keywords did come over. You can see HDR and panoramic there. Those are keywords from Aperture that got exported correctly over to Lightroom because we embedded those IPTC into the master. So thank you very much. This has been a Teaching Chuck video. Hope that uh, made sense to you, Chuck. This is a production of Treen Media. Hope that answered all your questions about how to get your Aperture library over to Lightroom. Now keep in mind, as Lightroom is being used to look at all your media, Aperture can still uh, do the same thing. It can, it can look into those files as well. Just make sure that you pick which program you're going to use to make changes to your pictures because any changes made in one won't be seen by the other. So I hope you enjoyed that and look forward to doing some more in the future. Thank you. Bye.